And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Starlet Ezreal running this deck back. Played it one time a couple of weeks ago and it was pretty sweet and it's just something a little bit different. And so, you know, running it back, see how it it does. Go, just sticking with the same list, you know, we are a spell heavy deck that's going to be winning with, the, uh, with Ezreal for the most part. You know, we have a Vi for our support champion. Starlet's here getting a bunch of counters on stuff. Um, Sub Percival being awesome. It's a cool little deck here. Um, the uh, We have three new decks besides this. Our other three decks that we're going to be playing today are all new ones. Pirate Lux, The Reckoning, and Champion Liss Elusives. Those of y'all that want something a little bit more budget. And then tomorrow, we're going to be having our early stream. We're going to be trying out another one of those tomorrow morning, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, so those of y'all that are watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, if you can, if you want to join the stream tomorrow morning, we'll be starting off nice and early. All right, but here we go. Let's, let's play some Starlet Ezreal and have some fun. Let's go the Freljord Sleeves. All right, we're at 290 to start today. Question, is the Timo Sejuani deck good? It's not It's not like one of the best things you can be doing, but it It feels like something you can you can have fun with and win, you know, win some games with. We went, uh, what, three and two with the deck yesterday. Um, I'd expect to kind of be winning about half the games with it. That's kind of the same story for almost everything these days, though. Um, but it's not going to be like a, a, you know, a, a great deck, if that makes sense. Wonder if I'm supposed to keep both vies. Probably not. All right, we are an Ezreal deck. We need to level up our Ezreal. So we're gonna wait on the Ice Veil Archer. So Ice Veil Archer can be one of our eight Ezreal triggers. There's our first Ezreal trigger. I'm doing this my way. Cool, and we got the backup Vi. So even if they have like thermogenic beam for this. It's done for now. Brittle Steel is nice. I do like that how even though this was a, uh, you know, like the Vault Breaker spell, like it, it still sees the other, the other ones come across. Oh no. All right, we're at five out of 10 for Sub Percival. Okay, cool. That bug's gone now. Oh, 
I was wondering why the Ezreal thing didn't show up there. And there we go. Here comes the punchline. Patience and virtue. Ugh. Yone is good. Winter take you. My Ursula's only at 3 out of 8. There's that 6 out of 8 now because of that uh, Yone. So that's six out of ten for sub Percival. It is time. This static shock, get us one more Ezreal trigger. Hey, Jax. Hope everything's going good. I'm doing this my way. And welcome, welcome. Okay, didn't use any of that mana. Ezreal's leveled up. Mine, not so much. They don't know what they're up against. Fortunately, they have theirs. No, I'm not part of the the Twitch Rivals tyranny now. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. That was a it's a 16 person thing. I'm not that they invited real big streamers to. I'm not. I'm not. Wow. Okay. Emptying the hand. Getting the damage in while they can, I suppose. Static Shock's a nice little draw. Oh, you're leveled up now? Uh, cool. I'm so good, I, I, thought, I thought for some reason I needed one more. I was going to like get excited that thing, but I don't really have to get excited that thing either. All right, 1-0. Oh. Question is, do you think they'll ever nerf Ezreal or Karma? And yeah, I, I do. Um, I think it's m karma is more likely at right now, but the last the the last um, balance patch that we had, they had a watch list of two cards, and those two cards were Ezreal and Karma, and so I think just that with you know with that being said, that it's likely that at some point. 
uh, you know, how you said is what are either of them gonna get nerfed? Yeah, I think I think it's pretty likely. They did have a watch list before of Frenzied Skitter, Shadow Assassin, and Mark of the Isles, I think. Was the, is that the third one? Maybe Glimpse Beyond was the third one. And we did see... Um, and yeah, we did see Frenzied Skitter nerfed. Shadow Assassin, not... The third one was one of those two cards. It was either, I'm pretty sure, it was like Glimpse Beyond or... Um... Their deck doesn't play that much removal, right? Like if I play Ezreal right now? Eh, it's not like this Ezreal's ever gonna... That Ezreal's like never leveling up anyway, so... No, oh, never mind. They have removal. Charged up and ready to go. What about Heimerdinger? Those million turrets are too easy to summon. Yeah, I could I could definitely see that card changing too. At least having the turrets cost some kind of mana, you know, have them cost like, even if they just cost one mana this turn instead of costing zero mana, even that. I, I could see something change in there too. Progress day. Eh, we're gonna play one of these subversibles early. You no, know, they're it's obviously a whole lot better as a five-five. Surprising that they didn't play anything at all. A little surprising. All right, so their plan is Radiant Guardian. Do I block here and let them Radiant Guardian? Or do I just take four? I think I can safely take four. We can do this. Well, they had a good backup plan. Yeah, not a bad backup plan. Oh, you're at five? Ezreal is totally leveled up now. Two. I fight for the fallen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hope this works. Boo. I won't stand by. Well, we kind of got rid of a Lux. Kind of. We each hold a world within. So that was a Lux's prismatic barrier. Hmm. Need one, one more mana because I want a Harsh wins this. But I also want to play this. Get excited now. Well, the card didn't have a barrier whenever I played Thermogenic Beam. They they responded with a barrier. Um, 
So it's that's the debate. Harsh winds and not let them gain all this life, or do I just get excited and, and kill the Lux? I, I'm definitely not going to be able to kill Lux now. Hey, Blade. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more barriers in Ionia for Shen. I agree. You're, like, priced into having to play... Um... Demacia to play Shen. It feels like. Pushing my limit. I should have just gave him the puff caps a little bit ago also you know I definitely wish I did before they drew those two cards try to get them to draw as many of those puff caps as possible where there is life there is hope what is gained when you return malevolence I really want to play this Subpersible as a 5-5. Five, five, five. That means I have to cast two things first. And I don't really want to cast two things. I mean, I guess... I guess I cast these two. I mean, I've already played that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not bad, so it just ends up being free mana. That's not bad. Rest. Collect your thoughts. Huh. Okay, Lionheart, uh, change. What, what would you like me to change the, the pet to, Lionheart? Would they just play Unyielding Spirit? And then, yeah, Blade says just change change the board to any board. So we randomize it up. A beacon through the dark. Go, go, go. So this is six. We need them to draw Puff Cap. Come on, Puff Cap. Puff Cap. Okay, so we're changing changing the pet and changing the board to randoms. Puff cap, yay! I mean, that was super aggressive by the... They used the health potion. Like, they're at seven, and they just used the health potion just to heal their radiant guardians. Like, and they had unyielding spirit in hand, still. That was real aggressive. All right, board... Um, let's see. Uh, can we do like a random number generator? I think I got one of those on my phone. For randoms. Get these randoms board. Where is it at? There it is. Random number generator. All right, so we're going to have one through ten. Um... 
Yeah, and so this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1 through 10. And we have, well, the number was 1. Kind of a random number 1 through 10. So 1, so Clifftop Monastery is our board. And we also got a, uh, to, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, people are, cha are trading in their channel points that you earn by watching. And you can change the boards, guardians, card back, stuff like that with channel points. All right, and then another person said random here. So we have uh, 11, so one through 11. And our random number is nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, looks like we're going to Ionia. Okay. We're going to Ionia. Oh, oh wait, oh, you don't want the random creature? Okay, you want the creature with horns from Freljord. Oh, okay, well, that's probably this creature, let's see. Yeah, the creature with horns. Perfect, so actually, the random number was the one, the one that you just picked out. Perfect. Oh, it was the number one? Oh, wait. Oh, this creature with horns, okay. That one, yeah, I guess that's also horns. Okay. Valley. The Poros are cool. Could be Bailey. Usually Bailey has an eye. This thing is Bailey. And Subversible is awesome, though. No. I think I want to replace all of these. Oh, man. This is not... Oh, Karsh wins is... Harsh Winds is worse than any other any of the other cards to have in the opener. Valley. There's nothing to fear. But Thermogenic Beams are a really good one at fighting Elise and just really good at fighting fighting Vi. Maybe I'm supposed to be going get excited Harsh Winds there. Like discard Harsh Winds with Get Excited to save that card for uh, buy. Come closer. I don't bite. A true Felionian welcome. Oh, I had the attack token. Why do I think they had the attack token? Oh, well, I should have attacked for three. We'll see if that costs me. Sounds of prey. Oh, they're going to be attacking. They've been outplaying me here. Thought they were going to attack. I just wasted a lot of mana. I hope they don't just have like another brood awakening. Uh, well, there goes my Starlet Seer I was about to play.
This isn't looking good. But I kind of knew that whenever my mulligan had the two harsh winds in our opening hand. This wasn't going to be good. All right, let's see. Hopefully we pump up something something good with that. Maybe another subpersible or Maybe we get our own vi. I'm at 7 out of 10. I have nothing else to do. Ugh. Nice Phil Archer. Yuck. Not and ready. All right, well, Harsh Winds will help us stay alive for a little bit. And help us level up Ezreal. So I either do one damage to them or have Ezreal leveled up. Ezreal can level up again with the Harsh Winds, but if we just draw an Ezreal this next turn, we probably want it leveled up. Keep drawing new cards. Yeah, that's not bad. They just draw their good stuff, and it takes you a long time to find yours. And yeah, they've had, you know, they had two Elises, this Vi, double Commander Ledros. Pretty great. I have had no Ezreals. I finally found one Vi, you know, deeper into my deck than they are. Ugh. Not so good.
So I can Mystic Shot the Vi. And then kill Vi. If I don't Mystic Shot Vi right now, we don't kill Vi. But I feel like we probably need these to burn them out. Like, the only way that we win... Like, that's that kills the Vi, which is good. But I feel like the only way we actually win... Okay. Would be... To not do that, save the burn, draw an Ezreal, and uh, burn him out. All right, two and one. Two and one. Keep chump bump against burn. Maybe not. We'll keep the two mana cards. Look for other cheap stuff. Reporting in. Okay, ready. I don't think there's any way that they just pass. Turn two. Called it. Ooh, what do we want to Iceville Archer? Thanks, Valiant. Don't mind me. Stay back. I was planning on if they would have attacked with all three i was kind of planning on mystic shotting that three two and blocking the others but they did not attack with all three let's just see what this is all about first eager apprentice i can play that after combat I'm not attacking with the eager apprentice into a two three no that's bad By playing the Eager Apprentice, you know, I could hold on to it for the Get Excited, but by playing it, it means that I have the mana to play Vi and still have Get Excited now. We just gain two mana by playing that card. I'm glad I didn't try to get excited, that thing. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya. Probably better for me to play these other things first. Because, yeah, I kind of feel like they're just going to be playing spells to kill me.
So we get we get four damage in here. That could be really important. No. Fervor so good. First one's free. Ah, an auspicious season. Burn deck got us. GG's. GG's. All right, back to two and two. I'm gonna blame the the new board and new pet. <laughs> we were 2-0 before we switched. <laughs> Thanks, Gustav. Thank you. Well, tomorrow we got the early stream again tomorrow, so I'll be on uh, five hours before this. You said it's late in your country, so I'll be on. Um, I'll start the stream right now but five hours before tomorrow. That'll help out. Let's see, Fiora Vi, and I'm planning on doing that a couple of times a week. I haven't figured out exactly which days for the schedule yet, but tomorrow's gonna be one of them. Um, Fiora Vi, okay, so this is just, uh, all right, um, I'm gonna just keep this, this is good. So we're playing against uh, Bannerman with Vi. I'm actually here. Um, charge? No war shafts on turn two. How am I so lucky? Not see any war shafts on turn two. Alright, we're gonna try to kill both of these with Avalanche. Be a huge bummer if they have the one mana art like everything gets tough this turn so obviously they have that that's a huge bummer That card is such a blowout. Unbelievable. Don't 
Roger, to me. One shot, all skill. Uh, we're just kind of trying to have our head above water, but. Five out of eight for Ezreal. Blessed by snow and stars. We're gonna have something that's gonna be pretty big thanks to Starlet Seer. Okay, okay. We'll take a, a five four Avarosen Sentry. That's not bad. Do I keep harsh winds open or I guess I can't I can't double spell with sentry and then or then like harsh winds. Yeah, I need one more mana to do that. Or or sentry plus thermogenic beam to kill either of these. I need one more mana to do that as well. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? You speed things up a little. So they were definitely going to be playing something else uh, since they played the tracker, and so I let you know I was able to let them kind of play that other thing first before. But yeah, I just decided yeah we want to kill the Vi. That's too bad. It's a challenger that kills Ezreal. That's pretty nice. Three Rangers resolves. Come on. Man, that card's just been such a blowout. Every time. Kinda in it though. We're gonna have to draw really well. Okay, that's a good start. Hmm. So let's see, this is two, and then the Mystic Shot does four, so that's six, and then this does five, so that's 11. Dang, we're close.
We are close. Need to just kill their things. A chill in the air. I feel like I have to just kill this. Even though obviously I don't want to. Well, I'm thinking that I have to, let's see, like, is Scarlet Seer going to get discarded here? Because Scarlet Seer doesn't really block. I guess it will block the, the Scythria, though. I don't know what that other card is, but this does give me three blockers for the three attackers. Yuck. they're going to attack with that thing first, and then I was going to be able to play the other guy in Frostbite. We got to draw another Ezreal now. There's only one Ez left in the deck, so one out of 21. We have a less than 5% chance top decking it. I think I have to just get really, you know, obviously they're just going to go straight to attack, so I think I have to get lucky with them getting a whole bunch of puff caps. Yeah, <laughs> just pray for eight mushrooms. Zero mushrooms. Well, we started off so strong. We did start off so strong, but man, those Rangers Resolves, they had three of them that were all critical. It's the last one a little bit less, but those first two were such killers. Um, but I really liked how our deck felt for how well that Demacia deck curved out and just always have to talk, like they always have to curve into Scythria at six, don't they? And that makes life so much more difficult. Um... But you know, like, like if they just didn't have one of those two Rangers resolves, I think we like we would have won that game if they just didn't have one of those two. They were both just such huge blowouts. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a different way to play Ezreal, and uh, you know we got we definitely have some good stuff in here. Like Brittle Steel looked really good at different times. Um, but you know we just 
you know, I, I don't really mind any of our losses. Like, the, you know, when the burn deck has, like, all those cards, like, they, they win kind of thing. Like, it happens. And, uh, you know, like, it, it's what happens when you play the reactive decks like that. Yeah, it was very, very close. Like, those, those games... Don't feel too bad at all. So Burstable looked really good, especially the 5-5 five -five of Burstable. Stole a game for us. The game was really close to us losing. You know, like that was really close to a 1-4. But it was also really close to like a 4-1. So that's just, just how this game is. Like, it's a good sign whenever you have a deck that's real competitive like that. Hey, Blackjack. All right, so we're going to be playing some other new decks, though now and we'll try we'll try them out starting with pirate lux up next those of y'all watching this later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course always leave those comments as well i appreciate them all right but thank you so much for watching some starlet ezreal and i'll see you for the next video